in this video we are going to solve some examples of successive differentiation earlier i have already posted a few videos about successive differentiation you could find the link for that videos is given in the description below here we are going to solve few examples first one is if y equal to 1 by 2 sin inverse of x the whole square then we have to prove that 1 minus x square y2 minus x into y1 equal to 1 so we have the value of y and we have to prove this equation that is 1 minus x square into y2 minus x into y1 equal to 1 here we have y1 and y2 that is nothing but first derivative and second derivative so using this y value we have to find out the first derivative and then second derivative and we have to prove this equation so first consider the value y that is equal to 1 by 2 into sin inverse of x the whole square we have to differentiate this equation with respect to x so left hand side y differentiation of y is y1 it is either dy by dx or y1 here in the problem we have y1 y2 so we have to write it as y1 instead of dy by dx so differentiation of y is y1 that is equal to right hand side we have 1 by 2 into sin inverse of x the whole square so 1 by 2 is constant first we have to differentiate for the power term here we have 2 so that is 2 into sin inverse of x to the power 2 minus 1 that is 1 into now we have to differentiate sin inverse of x sin inverse of x differentiation is 1 divided by root of 1 minus x square so this can be written as i am taking this root of 1 minus x square to the left hand side root of 1 minus x square into we have already y1 so into y1 equal to here this 2 and 2 will get cancel so we have remaining sin inverse of x cuz we have taken this term to the left hand side so now we have to squaring on both sides so first term we have root of 1 minus x square if you square this term you will get 1 minus x square because root and square term will get cancel into we have y1 if you square it you will get y1 square that is equal to here we have sin inverse of x so that is nothing but sin inverse of x the whole square so now from this term that is the given y term can be written as i am taking this 2 to the other side so 2y equal to sin inverse of x the whole square so in the place of sin inverse of x the whole square we have write it as 2y so this equation will become 1 minus x square into y1 square that is equal to in the place of this sin inverse of x the whole square we have write it as 2y okay now we have to differentiate this equation again with respect to x left hand side we have two terms 1 minus x square into y1 square so this is of the form u into v so differentiation of u v is u into v dash plus v into u dash so first we have to write first term as it is 1 minus x square into y1 square differentiation is first we have y1 square so first 2 y1 into y1 differentiation is y2 because this is first derivative if you differentiate it again you will get the second derivative so y1 will become y2 plus v into u dash v that is y1 square so you have to write as it is into u dash u dash is nothing but 1 minus x square so first term 1 that is 0 minus x square differential of minus x square is minus 2x that is equal to right hand side we have 2 into y 2 is constant y differentiation is y1 because if you differentiate y the first derivative is y1 so this equation can be written as 2y1 y2 into 1 minus x square and second term we have minus 2x y1 square equal to 2y1 see in all the three terms we have two common and y1 is common so if you divide it by 2y1 then we'll get first term we have 1 minus x square into y2 minus already 2 will get cancel so we have x 1 y1 term will get cancel so we have remaining y1 equal to this 2 y1 will get cancel so we have 1 so then the equation will become 1 minus x square into y2 minus x into y1 equal to y this is what we have to prove so hence it is proved next example if y equal to tan inverse of x the whole square then we have to show that 1 plus x square the whole square into y2 
plus 2x into 1 plus x square y1 equal to 2. So in this problem we have to consider y that is tan inverse of x the whole square. So we have to differentiate this y with respect to x. So if you differentiate this y value with respect to x left hand side we have y1 because differential of y is y1 that is first derivative equal to right hand side we have tan inverse of x the whole square. So first power term we have 2 here. So 2 into tan inverse of x into next tan inverse of x differentiation is 1 divided by 1 plus x square. So this can be written as I am taking this 1 plus x square to the other side it will become 1 plus x square into y1 equal to 2 into tan inverse of x. So now we have to differentiate this equation again. So left hand side first we have 1 plus x square into y1. So we have two terms. So first first term that is 1 plus x square we have to write as it is into y1. y1 differentiation is y2 because first derivative that is y1 if you differentiate you will get second derivative that is y2 plus now y1 you have to write as it is into 1 plus x square differentiation is first term 0 plus x square differentiation is 2x equal to right hand side we have 2 into tan inverse of x 2 is constant tan inverse of x differentiation is 1 divided by 1 plus x square so now we have to multiply by 1 plus x square so we will get first term already we have 1 plus x square so 1 plus x square into 1 plus x square that is 1 plus x the whole square into y2 plus second term we have 2x into if you multiply with 1 plus x square we will get 2x into 1 plus x square into y1 equal to right hand side if you multiply with 1, 1 plus x square these two terms will get cancelled both numerator and denominator will get cancelled so we have simply 2 so then the equation will become 1 plus x square the whole square into y2 plus 2x into 1 plus x square into y1 equal to 2 so this is what we have to prove so hence it is proved thanks for watching this video if you find this video useful please subscribe to my channel and click on like button and for further notification please hit the bell icon thank you